Hello from Koh Si Trang. I've made my way here. This is two hours away from Bangkok. This is more of an island where the locals come. I've, since I've been here, I've been here five days and I've seen two Westerners and I think they're expats, I think they live here. And I, like I say, I've been here five days. Now I've been off for a week because obviously after I had the bike crash and then I had the uh, dengue fever, I just wanted to come somewhere and relax, just have a few days out, just somewhere to just calm down, you know, bring it back down for a bit. So like I say, two hours from Bangkok, this was ideal. This is where you got all the locals coming, all, all the people from, like I say, from Bangkok. Hey, it's a beautiful white beach, nice blue water. Now I thought Koh Payam was the smallest island I've been to, but I think this is on a whole different level, it's really, really small island. What I'll do today is I'll take you around some of the sites around the island and then on the next vlog I'll take you through the main area, the main town which is very small anywhere else you'd call it a village but it's nice, it's very authentic Thailand it's a beautiful place this is Kampeng Beach now there's a few viewpoints, a couple of beaches a few things I'll be taking around today and see what you think when you're flying into Bangkok which everybody normally does if you're looking for a quick option to go for a beach this is definitely the one now this is just on the way to Pattaya uh, you'll probably see it in the next vlog I'll be able to point out how close Pattaya actually is from here but I'm not heading back that way, down that way I'm heading back up towards Bangkok because I've got some things to do up there Yeah, as you can see, it's a beautiful beach, Kang Peng. Now you get the sunbeds up the top there, the 20 baht for the day. 20 baht. It's a big change from where you'll go to Pattaya and pay 100 baht. Or anybody anywhere else for that matter. Lovely white sand. Now it's low season at the minute and it's still kicking about 35 degrees it's I've been here five days and I haven't had any rain whatsoever it's been beautiful also on the next vlog when I'm showing you around the town I'll show you my accommodation which is great really really good it's a nice bungalow with a veranda very relaxing let's move on to the next destination there's an overview of the beach where I'm just driving out, riding out on my bike. Beautiful. As you know on my channel I always say, show the good, the bad and the ugly. And around here it's a bit of a dumping ground on the way down to Tampang Beach. It all seems to be shrines. I mean, it could be what people have put up and they've just fallen down and been forgotten about. But it's not a good look for the island. I see this quite a lot. There mustn't be no waste collection. I mean, this isn't nothing to do with the shrine. That's just people tipping. That's not a good look for the island. It needs cleaning right up. Seems to be the vast majority of are all shrines. This is not far along from the beach. Seems like a bit of a an Instagrammy spot. What can I say? 
Koshi Chang. <laughs> It's a windy day, so forgive me if that's coming over on the camera. There's the beach over yonder. Let's go and check out the cave. Plenty of seating areas. I've noticed as I parked my bike up, there's quite a few, well, a couple of Thai tourists here. Plenty of bins kicking about, it's good to see. Unseen Thailand. It's a shame that they don't get more tourists here. I was talking to the lady who owns the hotel. She was saying they get very few Westerners here. And it's mostly all ties. That beautiful little spot going through the curve. I don't need for me to go right down the bottom. We'll have a quick look in the cave though. holding something up <laughs> I'll just lean against it seems to be a lot of sticks holding things up that's rather daunting right then perfect monkey climbing trees yeah so this is Talu Cave a little shrine in the middle or in in the, in the end. We're going to have to go, aren't we? Just a little one. Try not to knock anything down. There you go. Richie Parkinson was here. Good, well built steps. Get drinks up here, food. Very nice and relaxed. So we're into June now, beginning of June. So it's low season, what it be like in high season, I'm not sure. There's a little map of the island. I think altogether it spans about 12 kilometers. Going to be a good few of them places today. But well, what I can find, what I don't like when you're hiring a bike is then they don't have them things where you can put your phone in and it's automatic, then you're just on the go all the time. But at the minute, I'm having to stop at every second corner, get my phone out, having a look where to go, where to go. There's all little turns going up everywhere. 
So you go right, go straight down here, take a left, take a right, then you're stopping. Yeah, I could just do one of them on the bike. I suppose most people around here who rent bikes or have bikes know where they're going. Now this is on the back side of the island when I do the next vlog from the small town I'll have walked down the harbour and it's a bit like the Suez Canal and you can see the you can see the not from here but on the other side you can see where the, the land the, the mainland is and Bataya is just to the right of it now at the Khao Noi viewpoint Just a few stairs to climb. Ah, oh, so we are getting to see the other side of the island. Now this was like a six minute ride on the motorbike. This is how far it is between how wide the island is. You get to see what I mean by the Suez Canal from this side. I don't think there's many beaches on this side obviously because of what you're seeing it's all on the other side of the island but it's a nice view nonetheless so I don't know if you can see with the camera but straight across there is Siri Chang and just over the other side and in the distance there that's Patia loads and loads of ships when I'm returning to Bangkok I will do the return trip but yeah we just come over on a little passenger ferry there can't have been more than 50 seats on the ferry very small and you've got a little a little island there it's only got a couple of houses on it that looks more rocky than beaches we dropped something off there on the ferry on the way yeah but I'll take you through the full journey how to get to Bangkok from Koh Siri Chang so then if you want to come from Bangkok you just do the opposite do the opposite of what I'm doing I'm going to go to the bus terminal it takes two hours like I said to Bangkok and then you can go to rather one of the two big, big bus stations in Bangkok which I've got that man much on my mind at the moment I can't think of the names <laughs> but you'll see that you'll see that in the upcoming vlogs Let's go and see what else we can find. Ekamai, Ekamai is one of them. And you're the massive one. I'll think of it by the time we get down to the next place. Mochit, of course, Mochit bus terminal. I think that's probably the biggest in Bangkok to get here. This is Astang Temple. It's lovely walking through, listening to all the wildlife. Beautiful there. 36 degrees at the moment. There's a few signs kicking about, but they're all in tie. Doors are closed, but the windows aren't. Nice flooring, but there's nothing else in there. Must be a new build.
Oh, there's a door open. Just a little shrine in the middle, a couple of butters in the middle. So nice and relaxing here. If you want somewhere to chill out, just to get away from the crowds, this is a perfect place. So I found something in English. Pra Teddy Cheddy of Astang Kahan Emitea temple. In 1892 His Majesty King Chulalongkorn graciously gave a royal command to build, here we go again, Ashtang Kahan Itme temple to replace the old Ply Lime temple. The cherry had physical features differ from those of the other cherry and it serves as a U-bust original hall. The building has a spherical with an arched roof and top with a Senegalese style pagoda. Arched doors and windows of the Chedi are in the Gothic form with the stained glass in the apertures. There's the stained glass that you can see above the windows. Let's have a little walk further down. It's all very well paved. And just down here. You've got Pongracy Mansion and Abbey Rum Mansion. I'll say this used to be some sort of bathing pool. See where there's little climbing spots there. Not said I wouldn't want to be bathing in there right now. Oh, there's a tortoise. Oh, he's gone back under. You know, it used to be a bathing bath, probably back in the day. Just see the bubbles where the tortoise has gone back under. So this is Pongracy Mansion. A different idea from what I think of a mansion. One of the buildings built by His Majesty King Chung Chulunkorn gave a royal command to construct ACS Than for both Thais and foreigners to name it after the Majesty of the Queen Sohoba Pongrasi Pra Wararajadid Hevi. <laughs> I know I'm really bad. The rank at the time who donated the royal property for interior furnishings. Pongrasi Mansion was completed in 1889. Hmm? It's definitely been rebuilt. The building was later used to accommodate members of the royal family before the Pra Chung Had Huge Palace was established in 1892. Now I've read a few places that the royal family used to come and stay, yeah? don't want to go too far in. Yeah, you can see the royal family. It's nice. Nice little place. Is it a mansion? Not what I think of a mansion. Just down here, you've got Abraham Mansion. So you've got the little walkways that go right down to the beach or down to the sea. It's very rocky.
lovely trees. I bet these have seen some history. Now this is more of a mansion. Or a big house. I don't want to go too far in because I don't want to be showing the history today. I want to show more of the sights. If you want to read that, just give it a pause. But again, it was established in 1892. I'll just have a quick look. Yeah, it's got a lot of history as a Kosuri Chang. I'm building up the back. That might have been for the staff. There's King Chulalongkorn, 1891. Beautiful dog, it's got a lot of character. So that was the uh, the mansion that we've just been to last on the last one. Think I'm walking through the building where former kings have been. I've stayed here, not just been, I've stayed here. This is like their holiday homes. I sat out on the veranda looking out at the sea, but there wasn't so many ships then. Some more steps going down. I got a better view from down here. Down here, there's a wooden house by the sea. That's how it's described. And the Badahana mansion. Mustang Bridge Pier, wooden house by the sea. So all this must be in the old, <coughs> excuse me, the Ashdang Pier. It's a little light, old lighthouse at the bottom. And this is the wooden house where you can buy snacks and one of you. I mean, just think back in the day, just sat on the veranda looking out. You don't see none of these ships, none of that port. Just looking out at Siri Chang in the background. Beautiful, there's so many benches. It was blocked off for bikes when I come down. I wish I didn't know how to get the bike down. I've just climbed so many steps. Friendly dog, thankfully. Back of the wooden house, we've got another veranda. Nice little park. 
just think the Royals would have had all this to themselves back in the day. The Roy Tongsai Walkway. This will have been the little summer houses. Shame they're not still in use. What have we got here? The Ashtang Bridge Pier. Again, if you want to have a little read of that, that's only short. His Majesty King Chula, King Chula Longcorn bestowed his personal funds to build the pier. This was an act of merit making to celebrate the recovery from illness of his son, Prince Astang de Buda, after staying on the island. The royal opening ceremony was performed on August 23rd, 1891. Yeah, this was built in 1891. Beautiful. What do you got? A few fishermen's boats, tides out. Big and small. Look at that one, a little cracker. Yeah, like I say, this side of the island is very rocky. Well, there mustn't be a school on the island because when I come here, there was a lot of school kids on the on the ferry. So they must go backwards and forwards because it was midweek. They must go backwards and forwards every day to school on the ferry. I mean, it's only a 45 minute ride. keep saying this but it is so relaxing just with nobody about and I did a bit of research on this island before I come somewhere where I could go and relax where there's no one about and this was perfect and just down the road from Bangkok Need all the birds on the roof. This is the Vadhana mansion. One of the buildings built when His Majesty King Chilakorn gave a royal command to construct Asia Than for both Thais and foreigners to name after the Majesty Queen. So one Badana. Oh, I've said this before to Killer. Prabhura Maharaj Ahiev. Buramajab Hiev. The rank at the time. The royal who donated property for interior furnishings. But Hana Mansion was completed in 1889. It was later used to accommodate members of the royal family before the king before the Pra. Tud Hajjuj Palace was established in 1892. Obviously, a lot going on here in 1892. Again, another beautiful place. Very much like the, 
the other mansion we've just seen, so I won't go in. Yeah, it's really nice. And that'll have been a much better view back in the day. The same as the wooden building. And you've got the bathing pool. Or the pool, as we call them now. Swimming pool. Which you would not want to be swimming in right now. Fully green. And we're back up the top. Well, I'm absolutely bush climbing right back up there. Just shows us close to shore. Taking a week out, relaxing, not doing anything. I guess I was walking in Bangkok for 20 miles, no problem. A few weeks ago, before we crash. And since then, I've just been relaxing, not doing much. And for just a few miles today, I'm absolutely knackered. So I'll sign off here. I've seen a beach, cave, some viewpoints, mansions. And I think we're kicking on to about half an hour into the vlog now. And the next vlog I'll do the same. I'll show you around the town, around the pier, the harbour. And we're getting another half an hour out. There's Suri Chang, Suri Ko Suri Chang. I'll go off the way because uh, before that dog was licking his neck as he was staring me out. Uh oh, here's another one. Where you are. He's hiding somewhere. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today. A little look around Core City Chang. And catch me in the next one. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. And have an amazing day.